a beginner's guide to Axie Infinity. I welcome you to today's video. Please like our videos if you enjoy our content. We hope to bring you more videos here at the Metaverse Economy. Axie Infinity is a game that centers on battling, growing, and breeding pretty creatures called Axies. It has gained fame in countries like the Philippines, where players are rewarded in what is known as small love potion that you can convert to real-life currency. NFT are used to buy Axies and lands, virtual reality estate via a marketplace in the game. Axie Infinity is owned by Sky Mavis. Most user trades are made on Ronin, a customized Swift sidechain developed by the owner of Axie Infinity to offer lesser fees than the original Ethereum blockchain. The game stands out from several other games because it was meant to work on a play-to-earn mode. Players are allowed to trade items, unilands, flowers, barrels, axes they breed, and several other accessories via Axie Infinity's marketplace while gathering tokens generated by the game as well. This game employs two distinct coins. They are Smooth Love Potion SLP and Axie Infinity Shards Ax. Both coins are necessary in the communication and processes in the game. Users need them for upgrading, land acquisition, and more essentially, breeding. Axes can be exchanged with other players, and you can choose the axes you want to fight with. To check the recent value of SLP and AXS, visit Comanjeco.com. At the moment, the game gets about 200,000 players a day, and the rapidly growing universe makes more than $100 million in monthly earnings. To play Axie Infinity, you meet the requirements listed below, a Ronin wallet, address that can be downloaded via the internet, and then you create the wallet, an ERC20 wallet with a little Ethereum inside, you can buy Ethereum from all bid exchanges such as Qcoin, Binance, or Coinbase. Some Ethereum inside your Ronin wallet that can be sent from your ERC20 wallet or an exchange via Ronin Bridge. Immediately you get Ethereum inside your Ronin wallet by three axes in order to build a team within the game. You can buy these atop the Axie Infinity Marketplace. Then you open an account with the Marketplace at the top right side. Download Axie Infinity from the home page by pressing play now on the top right side. That is all. Since you now have your three axes, you can build a team. You will find the game very interesting as you are able to decide if you want to earn small love potion or combat on the arena. You can also choose to try adventure mode where you will combat monsters to reach new levels and coach your axes. How much can you make playing the game? You might ask, how much can I make from Axie Infinity? Do I have to acquire a team before I can play Axie Infinity? To play this game and receive SLP tokens without having to purchase a team, you can learn about that by reading a scholarship guide on it online. It is a remarkable means of figuring out if you would enjoy playing the game without spending beyond your budget. The real truth is, the more you play, the more tokens you can get as you will grasp the basics of the game, know the adventure levels that offer the choices for rewards and improve at battling. Some scholarships that have 20 daily players earn on average or as an average player, 150 to 200 SLP tokens a day, which is 20 to $27 a day in earnings. The more rewards you get, the better energy you will build in the game thus allowing you to get more SLP when playing through adventure mode. The better your success rate in the arena, the higher your earnings. A few players make more than 600 tokens a day, which is $80. The most traditional way to earn tokens through Axie Infinity is to collect small love potions which you can earn by completing everyday tasks and fighting in the arena as well as adventure. You can sell SLP through secondary markets based on the current price. Once you have made enough earnings and want to withdraw, sync the SLP to your wallet, then exchange them for Ethereum. How to purchase your first Axie on the marketplace, you will always find Axies on sale at the Axies marketplace. As the number of users increases, Axies experience a surge in price throughout the last couple of months. That is why it is so crucial to consider your first purchase properly and choose the appropriate Axies to enhance your success potential as well as token earnings. I recommend that you buy only Axies with a zero breed count because this allows you breed Axies further to produce more of them that can later be exchanged for money or used to play the game. With the filter at the left corner of the screen, you can search for particular axes. I suggest you use these filters. Pureness, 6, Stage, Adult, Class, Beast, Plant and Bird, Breed Count, colon, 0. Now that would give you 2,121 separate axes. If you want to employ these axes for breeding, then ensure that you download the extension of Freak Axie, because it will show precisely the pureness and genes percentages the axes have. Usually, axes with 90% pureness are the best, but as a beginner, 80% can work for you. As a beginner, we suggest you use the following teams, and even when you reach pro level, Bird, Hungry Bird, the last one, the ears and eyes matter not, Raven or Cupid, Kestrel, Plant, Sirius, Pumpkin, Beach, the ears and eyes matter not, Carrot, Beast, Imp, Goda, the ears and eyes matter not, Cottontail, Ronin, 
These axes were zero bred and have a six slash six pureness, which is why they are remarkable for breeding anytime you want. An Axie. An Axie is an exciting monster that you can collect, fight, and players can raise. They are mainly digital creatures and every Axie features special characteristics that affect its performance in battle, and it has four principal stats you can look into. They include skill, health, morale, and speed. An Axie has six body parts, mouth, eyes, horn, back, ears, and tail. At the time you purchase your first Axie, the back, mouth, and horn are very crucial as they influence the cards the Axie can apply in a battle. The notable stats as well as other aspects are crucial to you. If you want to send your Axie to combat on the arena, here is a quick breakdown of these stats. Skill. Any tag your Axie plays several cards at a time, skill boosts the damage. Health. Health has to do with the maximum number or damage your Axie can tolerate prior to getting knocked out. Morale. Morale increases the chances of a major hit. It enhances the possibility of accessing the last stand as well and contributes additional last stand ticks. Speed. Speed is what determines the turn order. Axies that have more speed strike first. It also reduces the chance of your Axie being hit by a major strike, a class. Just like one of the very famous game series Pokemon, Axie Infinity has a class characteristic system as well that uses advantages against a class on another. Currently, nine Axie types have been placed in Axie Infinity. They are Bird, Aquatic, Mech, Dawn, Plant, Bug, Beast, Dawn, Reptile, and Dusk. There are three unique classes within these classes that you can breed only by working with unique synergy of axes. A body part. An axie features six body parts, namely ears, a mouth, horn, eyes, back, and tail. These body parts are the ones behind the axie's skill card. Every body part gives different extra stats based on the class that body part lies. The extra attributes are beast, three morale plus one speed, bug, three morale plus one HP, reptile, 3 HP plus 1 speed, bird, 3 speed plus 1 morale, aqua, 3 speed plus 1 HP, plant, 3 HP plus 1 morale. Choices teams in the game, player versus player mode is a very sophisticated game compared to adventure. In PvP mode, you will face a different team of axes headed by a player like yourself. This denotes that in adventure mode, they will be pit against each other strategically instead of automatically. A few of the adequately balanced and traditional team configurations to take note of in the game are Beast, Bird, Plant, Aqua, Aqua, Plant, Beast, Aqua, Plant, Dot with the following formation and nice body parts for your axes, you would not find it difficult to participate competitively in the player versus player scene in the game. Player versus player mode. In players vs player mode, you will fight with other players using their array of axes. This is where the main ordeal starts as you have to conceptualize and plan each move to come out a winner. The higher you rank in the leaderboards, the more tokens you get. The in-game battle may appear straightforward, but it is complex. An Axie features several stats and classes that make Axie Infinity unpredictable. Every class is frail and sturdy over other classes. You should be watchful of the different types of attacks an Axie has and the impact. Losing happens in every game and winning each match means you will gain more tokens and scale the leaderboards. The game has helped so many individuals in the Philippines, providing a means of livelihood to some. Axie Infinity is likely to continue growing, particularly with the type of community it has that assists beginners a lot. Thanks for watching our video. Please like, share, and subscribe.